Hi everyone, in this video I would like to talk about how to integrate provisioning server with hypervisor environment. So if you are using VDisk update management feature in your Citrix provisioning server environment, you need to integrate your provisioning servers with some server virtualization environment. So for that, what you have to do is you need to go to provisioning services console first and then you see host option here you have to just right click on it and you have to click on add host okay when you click on add host it says something like welcome to virtual host connection wizard this wizard will add a new virtual host connection into the vdisk update manager so i was just talking about vdisk update management for that we can create a new virtual host connection so just click next so it will ask whether you, you are using Citrix Zen server or uh, Hyper-V or VMware vSphere or ESXi or Nutanix. So in my environment right now, I'm using VMware vSphere. So I would like to select this and click next. Okay, it is asking some name. I would say uh, VDisk update management. Okay, and I'll go ahead and click next. Okay, it is asking the IP address of the ESXi server. If I remember correctly, it is 192.168.160.215. I hope it is right, 192.168.160.215. Okay, I'll go ahead and click next. Okay, now it, it asks for the uh, credentials of that particular ESXi host. So I'm going to type the uh, username and password here. Okay. Okay, I've entered my credentials. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click verify connection first. Okay, it is trying to connect and it says connection established successfully. It means that uh, the credentials were right. So I'll click OK and I'll go ahead and click Next. So it just gives the details. You can just cross check if everything is right or not. And I'll go ahead and click Finish. Okay, so it seems like it is done. So it is already created here if you see on the top. So it says VDisk update management and I can see the host IP, VMware, vSphere, ESX. So I'll just right click on it and if I click on properties, I can see some details. Okay, so I see credentials here and I see VDisk update. So these are the details you can find once you have configured it. All right, uh, I hope you find this information helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel. And thank you for watching.